Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you how you can create a Kaleidoscope video effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. This tutorial is catered towards those who make music videos and this is actually very similar to a video effect tutorial that I made on the double exposure effect. If you guys want to check out that video, it's in the description. I also have a preset pack for this effect as well as the double exposure effect and they're both 50% off if you want to save some time. But otherwise, hopefully you guys enjoy. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into the video. So right here we're in Premiere Pro and I'm going to show you two different methods for this. Both are relatively easy, although I think the second one looks a little bit better. So make sure to watch till the end. So the first thing you want to do is create a new adjustment layer. And this will save you a lot of time, especially with this effect. So we're going to press create new. Drag it over our video layer right here. And the first method will include you using this effect called replicate which basically duplicates this clip four different times and aligns it perfectly in each corner. So right away, you can see this adjustment layer saving you a lot of time. Otherwise, you would have had to replicate this video layer like three or four times in order to achieve the same thing. Next, we want to be able to see the bottom video layer because with a cladoscope effect and if you actually use a physical filter, the main subject is still there. It just sort of duplicated a bunch of times around it. So that's why we have like four copies of this video layer. We want this surrounding our big subject in the middle. So what you want to do is go over to the replicate ellipse mask. You want to press create ellipse mask and you want to invert it now. Every mask we create in this video, we're going to invert. We're going to expand it a little bit and increase the feather so that it's smoothened out. Uh, we're able to see this middle main subject as well as these other four videos that surround it. But you can see on the side here, between the top and bottom video layers, there's an edge. So we wanna smoothen out this edge as well. So what we can do is we can click on our adjustment layer again, go over to opacity, and we wanna create a mask around this edge basically. I'm gonna create almost like a diamond shape. So something like this, and we're gonna invert this once again. We're gonna increase the mask feather and then we're gonna expand it a little bit. And so after this, you can see that there's no edge anymore. If you, for example, wanted to shift the placement or size of these four video layers, you actually wouldn't be able to just go over to position and scale and just increase it. It wouldn't actually do anything. Instead, it would probably just move the mask that we created. So you can see here, it actually just adjusts sort of the space that this adjustment layer takes up. So instead of taking up 100% of the screen, it only takes up 90% of the screen. So what we have to do is we have to uh, search up an effect called transform. And now we have those same functions, except now if we increase scale, it increases that entire like video overlay that we just created. So this is helpful if we wanted to, for example, increase it so that these four video layers are a little bit bigger. Maybe we wanted to offset it to the right a little bit. We can do that. So that's uh, sort of what you can do with transform. Um, you can also add or stack video layers like Gaussian blur, for example. So if we add Gaussian blur, it almost makes it look a little bit more realistic because it looks like we're shooting through glass because it's slightly blurry. Uh, you can add things like tint. I noticed that certain color combinations look good. For example, if we set the black to orange and the white to blue and we lower the amount to tint, we get this sort of like subtle brown, which looks good in some cases. So you can see this looks pretty nice so far. You can also add things like invert, which look better with like brighter footage, because usually when you invert like a video layer, it turns white. So if like the bottom video layer here was a little bit brighter, it might look a little bit better. Also, if you want to find different combinations within this variation, you can also search up flip, which will flip this overlay or cladoscope effect. So for example, we have something like this, which looks interesting. We can also flip it horizontally. And lastly, you can also change the blend mode. Right now, as we have it, it's normal. But if we add screen, it's a little less visible and it's a little bit brighter, but you can always change it to something like dissolve for like stylistic purposes. Dissolve, it makes it a little bit more like textured. If you uh, lower the opacity a little bit, you can see there's like green, or you can go to the extreme and like go over to the bottom right here, go to like exclusion or difference. So these will give you like more abstract uh, results. And what I'm going to show you next requires you a little bit more patience and it may take a little bit longer. And so basically this requires you to just play around with these mirror effects and you're going to apply multiple. So you're going to start off with something like this. And this is how I would go about it. You want to basically surround the subject with uh, mirrors. And so you can adjust the position or the reflection center by using these points. So you can just drag and you can 
adjust the reflection angle as well. So this is a little bit tricky because some angles will leave it with a black background or overextended, uh, which you don't want. So let's just say we start with something like this. You can apply another mirror effect and you basically want to fill in this entire screen. And so this is a whole process that may take a little bit of time. But the great thing about this is it looks way more abstract and may look a lot better. And if you have difficulty with this, you can always check out my preset pack, which has mirror combinations. It took me a lot of time to figure it out and find good reflection center and angle combinations. So if you want to save some time, you can do that. But essentially, you want to go around and just keep adjusting these settings until you find something you like. And the reason why I like this variation a little bit better is because not only is it more abstract, if you have some sort of movement in your video, it looks a lot cooler. And it's also just good as almost like a transition. Let's just say we break up uh, this adjustment layer just for a quick second. We can have it like a transition or like a cut between action. So for example, what you might want to do is when the money sort of gets thrown up, we might want to apply this effect. And this will add a little bit more emphasis on the money or it might look cooler. So I'm going to show you an example of one of my presets that I have in my prism effect pack. So let's go over to mirror five, for example, we have this really cool combination right here, like right there. That looks really nice. And the great thing about this effect is because it's on an adjustment layer, you can even add really cool trippy effects with the scale and position of this adjustment layer. When you adjust the scale and position, it doesn't actually move these faces. It just adjusts the area that this effect is applied on. So what you can do is you can start at like zero scale, set a keyframe and make it expand out to like a hundred. And so you can have this really cool effect where it's like this, where it transitions into the effect. And if you increase it enough, you won't see this effect at all. So you can do something like this where it zooms in and then the effect fades out. And you can also change things like rotation. So for example, we can start at zero and then we can end with like 180. So if we just drag these out, you can see that there's like limitless potential with this. So these are different ways you can either transition in or out of this effect, because if your video isn't necessarily like a trippy music video, then it may look unnatural, but, but doing something like this may make it look a little bit more realistic or just cool or stylistic. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully it helped you out. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And once again, you can check out the preset pack in the link in the description. Currently it's 50% off for this week only, but yeah, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.